From time to time, we all need a help from our technology friends. At Kirtland Community College, we have a department called Information Technology Services. So if we go to kirtland.edu, we go over to Quick Links and down to IT Help, we can see all of the wonderful resources that our talented department has to offer. So account activation is something everyone should have done by now. Single sign-on is a, a really wonderful and helpful resource to know and understand. So you have your student ID number is your username. It should be a six-digit ID number. It starts with either a one or a two. And then your, your uh, password is going to be whatever you set up at the time that you logged in and activated your account. So when we go to kirtland.edu, upper right-hand corner, sign in. You'll see My Kirtland, which is where you can register for classes, check your grades, course history, access unofficial transcripts, access your bill, um, and also pay tuition. Your Kirtland email accounts, your Kmail. Canvas is going to be where you can access your courses, whether you're taking an online, a hybrid, or an NC. Typically, most classes have some component, if not the entire class, being delivered through that format. Net partner is going to be for anyone who has financial aid inform, um, information where you need to go out and accept your aid, or maybe you need to apply for student loans. And then rate mobile safety is something that you will be opted into as far as receiving an email message if the campus were to close or if your instructor cancels class. However, you also can opt in to receive a text message or a phone call if class is canceled. And that's something that you should go in and check in every single semester. So I'm already logged into my Kirtland email account. So if I were to click on Canvas, it should automatically log me into my account. That's the beauty of single sign-on, not having to remember a bunch of different passwords. Um, Microsoft Office, you can sign up for Office 365. It doesn't cost you anything. It's part of being a Kirtland student. There's two different versions, an online or an actual version that you can download and install on your computer so you can work offline. So you can access that information here, or if you happen to be in Canvas, the bottom left-hand corner has some resources under student resources. Top right says technology resources, and you can find those links and information there as well. Like we said, your Kmail account is a Google account. So that means that you have Google Drive where you can access Google Docs, your calendar. Um, Gmail, as well as all of the other Google apps. So I know on my personal phone, I like to have the app so I can easily access my Kirtland email and I can toggle between that and my um, personal email. You can also forward your Kmail account if you want to, to go to a different email account that you, you check all the time. So there are a lot of different options because it is important that you check your, your Kmail. Um, if you have questions on anything like using Google Drive, you can just click Drive and it's going to give you a lot of different um, options as far as training tips and tools and some of the tricks. And then if you need to, maybe you lock yourself out of your Kirtland account or you've forgotten your password, if you need help, you can call IT. Here's their number. You can also see their email address. Their office is open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Good luck with all of your technology needs.